The next person I'm going to interview is Spectacular Smith. Now, if you do a Google search on Spectacular Smith, you'll see his Wikipedia article. Okay, so he's known by his stage name Spectacular. And he's an American entertainer, keynote speaker, entrepreneur, television personality, author, and philanthropist. He's the chairman and CEO of Adwisa Inc. and founder of the record label Moolah Music Group. Black Enterprise estimated his net worth to be $65 million, making him one of the five most influential entrepreneurs at the intersection of music and tech. And he's the creator of Grumpy Cat Viral Bread. I know a lot of you have seen Grumpy Cat Viral Bread, all right? So um, this is his Forbes article where it shows that Spe Spectacular Smith uses social media to make big bucks with Adwisa, the where they publish an interview together with him. This is his Instagram um, page. He has over 1.2 million followers on Instagram and he's verified. You can see all his posts over here. This is his Twitter as well as his LinkedIn. Okay, So he's an Inc. 500 entrepreneur as well. It's not easy to get uh, to be an Inc. 500 uh, entrepreneur, okay? So I'm super excited to do the interview and I'm sure you'll love it as well. What's up? This is Elric Ong, and today I'm here with Spectacular Smith. Now, Spectacular is an American entertainer, keynote speaker, entrepreneur, television personality, author, and philanthropist. He has over 1.2 million followers on Instagram, and he's also featured on Forbes. In 2018, Black Enterprise estimated his net worth at $65 million, making him one of the five most influential entrepreneurs at the intersection of music and tech. Finally, in both 2018 and 2019, Adwisa was named on the Entrepreneur 360 list of America's best privately owned companies. Welcome to the show, Spe uh, Spectacular. Man, thanks for having me, brother. Great. Come. Maybe you can start sharing. How? Okay. First of all, I want to know, how do you grow so many followers? I mean, 1.2 million followers is a lot. That's like, that's huge. How do you, how do you manage to do that? Yeah, man. There's so many strategies that I use, but... It's about engaging content, making sure that you're posting consistently, making sure that you're utilizing other celebrities and influencers. Mm -hmm. And so many strategies that you can really use to make sure that you're doing everything possible to blow up your social media is hashtag strategies, um, tagging locations. There's a lot of things that you can really do. I built out this formula that I call a spectacular success formula that mm -hmm. you can literally come in and blow up your social media at any point in time, no matter if you got zero followers or 100,000 already, something that I used to implement with my celebrity clients back in the day. And I continued it for myself and for my students. Great. So I read online that you are the mastermind behind Grumpy Cat, which is like, you know, it went viral and like Grumpy Cat's net worth is like more than a hundred million dollars. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, man, Grumpy Cat was one of those sensations, man. I just caught on fire as soon as it hit the net, and uh, and I just put the I put the fire behind it, man, and, and made it blow up. It all started from the Twitter days, man, and it went from literally zero followers on the Twitter account to over a million followers, and yeah, monetizing the crap out of it. So you own the whole Grumpy Cat bread. That means like whatever merchandise and everything, the profits go to you. Yeah, so. Interesting story. So basically, when I literally seen the cat, made it go viral, I wasn't the owner of the cat, right? So the actual cat owner seen what I was doing, and they seen that it was taking off. And I didn't know much at the time. I was, I was young. You know, I was in my young 20s, and I didn't really understand business like that. I just knew social media. I knew how to blow things up from zero to hero. Mm -hmm. And they realized what I was doing. And they they copy they copy wrote the name so they trademarked the name they copyright the name like everything they did and kind of like kick me <laughs> kick me out of the situation, wow, but wow. yeah I only made money to a certain extent and then that was it was game over, but you know I was the reason why the thing blew up the way it blew up, I was a huge 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 push behind it, and I got pushed out of it not understanding business at a young age. But it was a great experience because I learned a lot from it. So going forward, I know how to handle business accordingly. And I know how to present 
I mean, uh, uh, pre um, position my students and the people that I teach how not to go through the same thing. Wow. That sounds like Steve Jobs being kicked out of his own company that he, he uh, <laughs> did that yeah. for, you know? Yeah. yeah exactly. So, um, so okay, tell me more about Grumpy Cat. Like, how do you, like, put the fire behind the, you know, how, how did you make it go viral? And how many followers do you have at that point of time? How, how influential were you that you were able to make this such a viral, global kind of brand? Yeah, so basically what happened was I already had my other parody accounts because when I got on Twitter, I didn't have many followers at all. Like I was trying to figure out a way that I can grow a massive following because I realized I can make money off of Twitter. So it was only so far, so much I can do and so far I can go as a personal brand. So I decided to create other different digital assets that would help me grow as fast as possible. So I couldn't create a, a hundred spectacular accounts like nobody like. It was like, well, this is the main spectacular. So, you know, I why should I follow all of these spectacular accounts? So I started creating parody accounts. Cat Williams, Will Ferrell, Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Kevin Hart, Beyonce, Jay-Z, niche pages, quote pages. Like I started creating all these different pages and start building them, building them up, speaking in their voice. And I had my same content strategy I was talking about earlier. And I started killing it. I started growing all these pages, the hundreds of thousands, Three, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, and I started building it up. And Grumpy Cat was just a test project. That's the crazy part. It was just a test project. I was just testing it out, see how it worked. I put it on autopilot, automated the account, posted some great content, created some great content, and I came back a week later, two weeks later, and the account went from like literally zero to like. 300,000 followers or something like that. I can't remember the exact number because it was so long ago, mm -hmm. but it blew up like crazy. And I was just like, whoa, what was that? <laughs> you know, and I went back to it and I started putting focus on it. Mm -hmm. I started putting focus on it and start killing it and start growing the pages and doing all my strategies. But instead of focusing on all the other assets, I put all the focus on Grumpy Cat and it took off. It became one of the biggest accounts ever. So that was completely organic. You didn't run any paid ads at all? No, I didn't even know anything about paid ads. It was all organic strategies. Wow. And and do you think that that worked only in the early days of Instagram when, you know, Instagram, like when Instagram gave a lot of organic reach or do you feel that um, the same strategies will work now as well? When the algorithm switches all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, the algorithm switch all the time in this, there's really nothing you can do about it, but understand what do you have to do to get around it and pivot around that. So that's what I do every single time. Social media throw you a curveball every single time. And I feel like that's my great greatest skill set and figuring out how to pivot. And that's what I did with every last page I created, even for my own pages, my celebrity pages, my client pages. Always figure out a way around the algorithm and when you understand how to solve problems, you understand how you can get around the system in terms of the algorithm, because they really put the algorithm there, algorithm there to suppress your reach so they can make money off of you. So they you build all your followers up yeah. to millions of followers, and then they say, hey, Spectacular Smith, I see you got all these followers, and you're trying to post and reach them, but I want you to pay us to reach those followers that love you. Yeah. So I had to figure out a way to get to those followers without paying Facebook or paying Twitter or paying Instagram. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's, that's always been the game with social media. And that's why you would never see a college course to get a college degree on social media because it's too yeah. ever changed. Like it's never going to be evergreen. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be hard for them to keep up. So the only person you can learn something from like this is me because I got all the strategies, all the formulas and school would never teach you this. So if I certify you, then, you know, you're truly certified. So you have this academy called Spectacular Academy. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, man. Spectacular Academy is, you know, basically this shirt I have on right now, Spectacular mm -hmm. Academy. And what we do is we actually have a curriculum that's going to get you real results. Mm -hmm. I feel like schools are our enemy. They, they put us in debt. Soon as it, soon as we're ready to get out of school, we're already climbing out of a 10 10 feet hole. Mm -hmm. And when you get out of school, you think you got this job ready for you, ready to go. 
And the reality <laughs> is you ain't got nothing ready for you. And when you go to get a job, they say, hey, you need the experience. But how the hell am I going to get the experience if you won't hire me? But then the person who don't have any, any college degree but have the experience and can get the actual employer the result they're looking for, then that's the person that get hired. And I say, yeah. man, wh who would you rather hire? Would you rather hire somebody who has the skill set and has the results that you want or the person that have eight years in school that shows on paper that they know what they're doing, but they have no experience? The one and experience. You, yeah. You're going to go with the one with the experience. So what I do is instead of having people go through this whole process of this schooling system with somebody who's never been where you wanted to be at in life, I'm a strong believer in somebody can only take you as further as they ever got. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get far in this situation, nine out of 10, you can't take me there or, or pass that as further as far as you ever got. So I wanted to change all of that. So that's exactly what I did. I'm not really a guy who just like to talk. I get quiet and then I get to work and I saw problems that I have an issue with. So what I did was I replaced the professionals, the professors, I mean, and I replaced them with millionaire mentors. Somebody who's killing it right now, not somebody who's guessing if they can do it. They read a book and they could teach you how to do it based on what they read. No, they're killing it right now in that, in that skill, in that skill set that they're going to teach you. And you come in and murder it based off of what they already know. Things that you would never like learn from anywhere. YouTube ain't going to teach you this. Google ain't going to teach you this. School's not going to teach you this. And I was like, you know what? I can get some of my ultra successful friends, seven, eight, nine, 10 figure entrepreneurs to give me an hour worth of their best stuff so I can put it in my academy. Mm -hmm. So I'm the lead mentor in the academy and I mentor all of my students, but then I have my friends come in as a support system based on all the skill sets, the main skill set that they have. And I put together this curriculum based on everything you need to be a successful social media entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So if you need skills on how to build your social media, I give you that. Mm -hmm. So as soon as people see your social media, they're like, man, who is this person? I want to, I want to do business with them. I want to hire them. I want to do a product launch with them. You need to learn sales and marketing. No matter who you are, what you're doing in life, you need to learn how to sell. Even your little kid, they selling you on how they need to get that, that snack and put it in the cart at the, at the grocery store. Yeah, They're selling yeah. you on that, right? Yeah. No matter who you are, you need to learn how to sell. Marketing, same thing. You need to learn how to get your message to the masses, but not only get it to the masses, but get it to the right people. Because when you build these social media followers on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, like but TikTok probably the only place that lets you really hit your actual audience mm -hmm. and let you go viral. But I feel like that's only going to last so long. Mm. But you have to learn a skill set on how to hit your audience or how to get people that don't understand you and get the attention. And when you get the attention and you understand how to do the marketing, you can make money out of that, mm -hmm. right? If you learn how to market and how to sell, you'll never go broke or yeah. you'll never yeah. go hungry. You'll always have food to eat. It, was all, it will always be food on the table once you learn this stuff. Branding, operations. These are all the things that you need. My operations went left. Like my whole business almost went down because I didn't understand operations. Mm -hmm. So everything that I did coming up in the, in the business world that I wish that I had, I put it all in this program. I say, man, what if somebody had a program that would teach them everything they needed to have an ultra successful business. And I say, you know what? It doesn't exist. But since it doesn't, since it don't exist, I'm literally going to put it together and I'm going to give you every last thing you need possible to having a successful business. And I'm literally overturning every rock. I'm not leaving no rock unturned. And I'm going to teach you every last thing that you should learn as an entrepreneur in the social media world. So if anyone wants to check that out, which what's the website you have or where can they have more information over there? Yeah, go to spectacularmasterclass.com. I actually teach a three-hour workshop for free. And then at the end, I talk about my online business school. You got to apply to get in, get into it. And uh, if you make it in, you make it in. Only, only the, the people that truly want this, truly want to be a social media entrepreneur, I'm going to give them everything. I'm going to give them everything they need, but 
they got to apply and they got to actually make it in, make it inside the academy. And I'm a certified. It's an eight week program. Mm -hmm. That's my main program. It's called Entrepreneur MBA. So it's a real MBA, a MBA certification. Not what you learned in school. No, Master Business Affluence. I'm going to teach mm -hmm. you the, how to master business well through social media. Everything you need to have a successful business is literally in this program. And I, we created 17 millionaires so far. My goal is a thousand. So I got a long way to go. And my ultimate goal is to create more millionaires than McDonald's, right? McDonald's got 38,000 franchisees and, and that's 38,000 millionaires that they created. So I want to do the same exact thing. And I'm really focused on people that really want this man and, uh, and willing to put the work in. So what kind of support do you give? Like, is it just an online course? Do you do coaching sessions, live coaching sessions recorded? What's the support like? Oh my God, the support is amazing. First of all, as soon as you get in a program, you get a welcome call and we welcome you to the program. We let you know, we do orientation. Mm -hmm. We walk you through the steps. We walk you through how, you know, how we're going to support each other. The support system is crazy. We got over 7,000 students and we do twice, twice a week coaching, twice a week. Mm -hmm. twice a week with my team for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. It's not even like a month thing, a two week, a year. No, for a lifetime. As long as this program is up and running, you're going to get continuous coaching. It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. We're going to keep coaching you. So if you feel stuck, we unstuck you. That's the main thing. So you don't have to worry about going through the system and being confused, not having nobody to talk to, we got own, ongoing support. Our customer su support is superb. You know, that's what we hear. They were like, man, I hear from my students. My God, your customer service is amazing. We was just looking at our customer support ratings. We got a 96% customer satisfaction out of 100. Wow. And we literally get no refunds mm -hmm. at all. And, and for these type of programs, the refunds are sky high. Some of my friends that do this, Stuff yeah. that have like online programs, their refund rates is freaking through the roof. And I was, yeah. I look yeah. at them, I'm like, man, my ref I don't even have refund. I was like, what's a refund? You know, because they <laughs> love this stuff. It's so impactful. The community is there. You got people that's going to support you. You got people that's going to push you, motivate you. When you fall down at the finish line, they run back. Even though they're full speed, they stop, they run back, they pick you up, walk you across the finish line, a true support system, right? If you feel down and out, you got somebody that's going to motivate you. You got an issue. You got a problem. They don't talk about it. They don't give you the drama. They literally come to you and say, hey, here, here goes the solution. How can I support you? And that's the culture that we have in the Spectacular Academy. Wow. Great. And so you mentioned the headline is like, how do you grow 100,000 followers in less than 30 days while making thousands? Well, that's, I mean, 100,000 followers in 30 days. Uh, how do you do that? And how many of your students actually hit that or Oh my What's god. The success rate on that. Yeah. The success rate is freaking over 90% with that. Wow. It's so simple to do. <laughs> it's literally simple. And and I'm going to tell you the strategy, right? One one of my I have so many strategies, mm -hmm. but give I just give you one. Give me I'm going to give you you don't even need three, you need one, right? Okay. It's called giveaways. Mm -hmm. So when you do a giveaway, you actually have an influence. It could be a niche page, a quote page. It could be a celebrity page. And you give away a product. When you give away a product, it could be an iPhone. It could, be even a, it could even be money. And you say, hey, I'm giving away six, five cash apps of $100 a piece. And all you got to do is follow the pages that I'm following. Usually, you can create a whole nother page for it and follow the people from that extra pace so i might do spectacular spectacular ultra giveaways and i create that page and i'll go follow your page my page whoever wants to get in the giveaway might be five pages ten pages mm -hmm. and i post on my page with a million followers or you pay somebody to post on their page with hundreds of thousands of followers or millions of followers and you pay them whatever they want fifty dollars a hundred dollars two hundred dollars a thousand dollars whatever that, that amount is the higher you go, the more you got to pay. And the more influence, the influence they have, the more you got to pay. And you find a page in your niche. Mm -hmm. So if you're selling beauty products, the first thing you want to do is find a beauty influence or find a beauty page. And you make that beauty page say, hey, I'm giving away 
$500, a cash app to five people of $100 a piece. All you got to do is tag somebody below and go follow the pages from Spectacular Ultra Giveaways. And as soon as you do that, comment done. We're going to give give you the winner in 24 hours from now or 48 hours from now, from now. Or you can even do like a week, a week from now. And you can post every day, post it in your stories. Hey, you still got time. Go join that giveaway. This is your opportunity to win this laptop or win this Apple product, whatever you decide to give away. And then everybody's going to tag them. Everybody's going to go follow the pages. And then when you announce the winner, usually 70% of those people stay. So usually these giveaways will grow you like a thousand to 5,000, sometimes 30,000 followers all at one time. In my, in my program, I literally give you all of my giveaway uh, connections. So they have pages that already do these type of things. And then I also do them for my students. I do them for my clients. And I let my students jump into it. And basically what it's called is a giveaway and, and everybody join in. So you don't have to take all of the, the risks on yourself. You can get other people, other beauty pages, other people that want that type of demographic, psychographic. And the people that's in that probably that geographic based on the page mm -hmm. audience, and you can come in and have everybody pitch in. So if it costs a, if it costs five hundred dollars for the giveaway, hundred dollar cash up a piece if that's what you decide, and then the influencer costs a thousand dollars. So now that's fifteen hundred dollars that you need mm -hmm. to do the actual giveaway. You can get ten people to pay you two hundred dollars a piece. And now that's $2,000. So now you just made $500. And you just grew 5,000 to 10,000 followers from wow. that giveaway. Wow. That's an amazing tip. That's an amazing tip. Give me two more. <laughs> all you need is that one. That's it. Give me that's two all more. You Anything else, you can go to spectacularmasterclass.com. I actually teach three more strategies on there that I'm going to give you for free that you can go and learn. It's a three-hour workshop. It's the best workshop you ever see in your life. Awesome. And all of you definitely need to go and watch that. Okay, so you told me that you made um, $2,000 per week, even as an 11-year-old. Are, are you kidding me? Like $2,000 a week? Tell me how you did that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> it was simple. I was in school, realized it was a problem. Kids were starving in class. And I was trying to figure out, like, what the hell... Like, how can I help these kids out? They're starving. They're hungry. They need food. And I was like, you know what? I can give them candy. I can find candy for them. And not only I can give them candy, they will be happy because now they have candy. But at the same time, I can make money because every successful business is solving a problem. So I told my mom, take me to the store. I got all this candy. And I started taking it to school. I only can carry $45 bags of candy. And I brought it to school and I was all sold out by the time I got the third period. I had seven periods in middle school. I was in sixth grade at 11 years old. And when I was all sold out of candy, I was like, man, I need help. Like I'm sold out. I need help. So I got 10 people to help me sell candy. I gave them $25 bags of candy on the side of the school. And by the time the end of the school came, majority of them was all sold out of candy because they was in class and everybody knew them for having, for having candy. And it was all sold out. So by the time the week came, I made around fifteen hundred dollars because all of them was turning their money in at the end of the at the end of the school day. And I gave them twenty dollars a week for payroll, and I gave them five dollars and sent them say, "Hey, if you sell out more than three times in one week, I get extra five dollars." I didn't know I had payroll. I didn't know I had a center plan. I didn't know I had any of this stuff. I just knew that I wanted to help and I wanted to make some money at the same time. So that's kind of how I literally built that whole situation up. Uh, I ended up buying my car at 14 years old because I wanted to. I wanted a car. I used to. I used to actually buy my own clothes. I used to help my mom. My mom needed help with rent. We was getting evicted all the time and we were struggling. So I wanted to help my mom too. So this is a way that I can support my family. And you know, just seeing my mom crying sometimes, it, I just it felt some type of way to me. So I wanted to really do everything that I could to help my family. Wow. So 
you you made two thousand dollars a week by selling to other eleven year like other primary like other eleven year olds, ten year olds. I mean, do they even have like collectively? Do they even have two thousand dollars? No, week? no. So we was they got twenty five dollar bags of candy, so they were selling fifty cent Snicker bars, fifty cent M and M's. So the uh -huh. fifty cents added up, you know, and uh, and certain things cost a dollar. So they just sold twenty five items at the end of the day, you know, or they or they sold uh fifty items depending on if it was fifty cent. Yeah. And every last person I was selling was selling the candy. So by the time the end of the week added up, we freaking was killing it. <laughs> and that was just in one school or you expanded to many schools? No, it was just one school. Wow. <laughs> That's all I needed. Yeah, it was, it was one school. Well, wow, you were so entrepreneurial even like, yeah, you were so entrepreneurial even growing up. Cool. Yeah. And so you told me that you have multiple Instagram accounts. So roughly how many Instagram accounts do you have? Zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 50, 50 to 100. Yeah, Instagram, I didn't have many Instagrams because by the time I got to Instagram, I just started helping clients at that point. But on Twitter, I was running like 30 accounts on Twitter. Automated everything. For Facebook, it was only a few accounts on Facebook. I didn't really go crazy like 15 accounts on Facebook and build it up like crazy. But I didn't really... I transitioned from doing parody accounts, fan accounts, to actually helping real life people and celebrities. And it all started from those pages. And then I transitioned to helping people who needed help with their story, getting their story out, and people that needed help building their brands up. Awesome. So how do you, like, I realized that you were able to figure out almost every single social media platform. And I believe that even on Clubhouse, you are, you are figuring it out very quickly. You know, like you're exploding on Clubhouse as well. How 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 do you figure things out so quickly? Like, you know, how, how come you're your your yeah, how come you're so adaptable to to the social media changes? Well, I think it's it's all it's everything has a formula. Mm -hmm. And the formula is the people, the algorithms, mm -hmm. connecting. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you want to go viral, it's a few things you got to hit. One of these few things. One, you got to make somebody cry. You make them cry, it's going to go viral. Two, you got to make them laugh. If you can make somebody laugh, it's going to go viral. Three, if they can relate, it's going to go viral. All right? And if you can actually teach them something, it's going to go viral. Mm -hmm. But it has to be really great content. And on Clubhouse, you touch every last one of those things. You can literally touch every last one of those things in one Clubhouse session. You can make somebody cry. You can teach them something. You can make them laugh. And you can make them relate. All from having an hour session on Clubhouse. And when you do that, you got to have call to actions also. So in Clubhouse, people only do what you, what you say. Mm -hmm. Let me rewind that. They don't only do what you say, but they will do what you say. Mm. So if you say, hey, you gave so much game, you gave so much gems, and then you say, hey, follow me or follow the speakers, follow everybody on stage. They're going to follow them if they resonated with you. But some people don't even think to hit a follow button. And that's why at the end of YouTube videos, they say, hey, hit the subscribe button. Hit the follow button. Leave a comment below. Because they're not even thinking about it. They enjoyed the content. But if you don't tell them a call to action mm -hmm. or give them a call to action, then they, they won't take a call to action 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 times. They, they want. And the reason why they won't because... They're enjoying the content. Mm. And they, they're like, oh, dang, I forgot. All right, cool. You're right. I should hit that follow button. I should like this post. I should comment. So you got to give call to actions. And the way that you grow on a clubhouse is giving really great content from those four things that I mentioned earlier, the viral strategies. Mm -hmm. And then giving them call to actions at the end is always going to get you great amount of followers. And then the second thing with Clubhouse is, as soon as they click on your bio or your profile picture, 
your profile pop up and it's the first three lines is what counts on Clubhouse. You yeah. have to wow somebody on those first three lines. Mm. So mine say chairman and CEO of Awazar, which is my company, A-D-W-I-Z-A-R, multi-platinum artist. I sold 17 million albums, singles, ringtones worldwide. Mm -hmm. That's not easy to do. So basically, you put everything that makes you stand out that would make somebody want to follow you. You want your biggest accolades. You want your biggest thing that's going to make somebody say, yo, let me view their full profile. Mm -hmm. It starts off with just that line. And if you convince them past that line, then they want to learn more. It's the same thing with YouTube ads. If you do a YouTube ad, you got the first few seconds to convince them to continue to go forward. If they exit out, that's actually a great thing because now YouTube don't charge you for that actual viewer. So you want to convince them as soon as you get in. And then if they leave, you don't get charged. If they continue, then you already know you got them. So I might start my advertisement with, do you want to grow your social media? Do you want to go from literally no followers to hundreds of thousands of followers in 30 days or less? Now, if you don't resonate with that, you're gone. But if you do and you move forward to nine out of 10, YouTube is going to charge, YouTube is a guarantee going to charge me for it. But nine out of 10, you're going to want to learn more and continue. But if you like grow my followers, man, I'm out. I'm not going to get charged for that. Yeah. So just to bring it back to Clubhouse, you want to hit them right, right at the moment when you start speaking and you start giving them a lot of information, a lot of game that they can resonate with or connect with or learn from. Then they're going to click on your profile. That first three lines is everything. Boom. Then they click view full profile. And then you got to get them. It's copy now. You got to have great copy skills. You got to get them on. Now that's basically like a landing page. And you got to convince them that they should follow you. And then you need to have the call to action from your actual Instagram and your Twitter bio. Have a call to action. So when they go to your Instagram to learn more, your Twitter to learn more, you have a place where they can go and purchase something or go buy something. Mm. So for you from Clubhouse, you funnel them to your masterclass or you funnel them to... Where, where do you funnel them to normally? My masterclass. If they want to learn more, they because... I mean, I'm only going to be on for so long, but if you really want me to teach you, I can't be on Clubhouse for three hours just teaching all day. So yeah. my game plan is to literally come in and give them some jewels. And then from that point forward, they could, if they want to learn more and they want to have me teach them more hands-on, then they, they have an option to do that. You know, and a lot of times I just tell them, text me because I literally look at my number all day. So even, even your audience, 786-661-1224, if you guys want to literally talk to me or whatever, or you can message me masterclass and I will literally answer you back, send you the link to the masterclass. So if you just want to connect with me via text, once again, 786 661-1224. I know you can put it in the show notes and all six, that great six, stuff one, too. 12, 24. 786-661-1224. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Great. So just text you masterclass, is it? And then you'll send them the... Yeah, I'll personally send you the link. Great. So tell me more about the... Tell me more about AdWizar. You just mentioned about AdWizar. Tell me more about that. Yeah, so that's, that's what it all started from. I started from Twitter, doing it myself, helping people on Twitter. Was killing it. I was the number one guy in advertisement on the whole Twitter platform. Number one, it was a company called mylikes.com that got purchased by Amazon. Mm -hmm. But they had all the, all the publishers that was making money on Twitter. And I was, they had a leaderboard and I was always number one. So I took that skill set from doing it for myself. And I went to go solve another problem, which was helping celebrities who didn't know how to monetize their social media and knew nothing about it. And they had this digital real estate just sitting. They didn't know how to make no money off of it. But I had the skill set of two, two things, two skill sets. One, how to grow followers from literally zero followers that I teach my students. And, and the second thing I do 
as I teach them how to monetize it and show them how to monetize it. And that's what I did for them. It's like, man, listen, you got all of these followers right now. Of course, yeah, you're not hot no more. You're not making music no more. But guess what? You already cultivated millions of followers. Put them all in one place. They're core supporters of you. So let me get on this page. Let me help you make money. And let's do a rev share split. Mm. They wasn't making no money off of it anyway. So they didn't care. They said, oh, of course, spectacular. Do whatever you want. And I started making the money. I grew their followers from like zero followers to like millions of followers. I made them hundreds of thousands of dollars every single year. And I was killing the form. And then I was like, you know what? I want to help even more people. Forget the celebrities. Sometimes they're ungrateful. It pisses me off sometimes, you know? <laughs> and and I, don't like, I don't like ungratefulness because when you give, the feeling of giving is everything. Like when you yes. get that, when you give, if the feeling is everything. But when I give it to you, you're ungrateful as hell. It just <laughs> made me feel some type of way. So I said, you know what? Let me help these everyday entrepreneurs who have a great story, who have a great product, but don't know how to get it to the masses. So I said, you know what? Let me help these people. So I literally started helping people go viral and become famous on social media, turn their followers into dollars, literally increasing their network from social media. And I started taking them on as clients. And I started building their followers from scratch. I started making the money, started helping them launch their products and had them, they was killing it. And then Fortune 500 companies realized what I was doing for the smaller CEOs and they started jumping in. So Zappos was my client, uh, Clark Shoe brand, like, like, bro, like, <laughs> like it was crazy. And they all start coming in. And then I realized like, uh, this is fun, but I'm not making enough impact. Mm -hmm. I really want to make an impact. And that's when I, that's when I launched my online business school, Spectacular Academy. Wow. That's when I started focusing on that. I was like, man, I'm not helping enough people. Everybody can afford my service, but I need to make it where they can enroll. They can have their tuition. They can get certified, you know, and, it, and it's only going to take them eight weeks to get through the whole program. Some people will make it faster depending on how, how hard they go. Literally, if you got 30 minutes a day, you can put to this. I mean, people watch TV for more than 30 minutes a day on social media, more than 30 minutes a day. You can put aside time to perfect your craft you can make you can never make the wrong investment in yourself yeah your, your mind is everything too many people invest in everybody else but they don't invest in themselves they believe in everybody else but they don't believe in themselves right. they got to take the leap of faith in themselves to get the goals to accomplish the goals and that mission that they have in life i feel god give everybody a special talent mm -hmm. everybody something that come easy for you but harder for the next man Mm -hmm. But it's up to you to put that into action. Have progress on that one thing. Execute on it. But so many people, they potentially die with them. They never, they never tap into it. The richest people is in the graveyard right now because they never did anything. Mm -hmm. They never did anything. So literally, their wealth is going to die. The potential wealth is going to die with them because they're yeah. not taking no action. So I think everybody have a call in it on this planet. Not everybody can be the CEO, but I feel like everybody should take that opportunity to see if that's their calling. Got it. When you, when you say you were the number one advertiser on Twitter, you mean you spend the most money on Twitter or you were the number one pro uh, content producer where people advertise on? Yeah, I was the number one person that made money on Twitter. I made the most money on Twitter. Okay from advertisers paying me okay got it and they had a leaderboard and on the leaderboard it shows who was making the most money from advertisement I see. and i was number one and it was over thirty thousand people i think it was thirty thousand thirty thousand people advertise i mean publishers on the my likes platform mm -hmm. and it's funny because the CEO, her name is Bindu. She actually jumped on one of my clubhouse stages and we talked about this whole thing and she was talking about how I was the, one of the best on the platform and everything like that and how, you know, I helped blow that thing up. But it was, it was phenomenal. It was a phenomenal platform. We had some real heavy hitters on there. So I had some real competition, but I was always number one. Mm 
So I, I literally gathered everybody up, the top 10 people, and I even helped them blow up their social media and make even more money than oh, they was man. making because I knew who they was. So I reached out to them and, and did a rev share deal with them too. Wow, that's amazing. I think like um, times have changed. Like nowadays, people can just make money online compared to the past, you know, 50 years ago, this, all these um, industries were, were, didn't even exist. Yeah. So if anyone wants to follow you, where should they find you? SpectacularMasterclass.com. Awesome. So everyone, or make you sure you go and watch. You text me. Yeah, everyone, make sure you uh, go to SpectacularMasterclass.com or text him at 786-661-1224. All right? Yep. And also, I have my own podcast called The Spectacular Experience. All podcast right? So, the ex okay, podcast. Spect Spectacular Experience. Yeah. Okay, got it. I'm going to include that in the show notes. All right. Yep. Thank you so much for being on the show. I learned a lot about social media marketing. I'll definitely check out your um, class and I recommend every one of you to check out the class. And for those of you who enjoyed this interview, make sure you like this video, comment what are your three biggest takeaways and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Hi, right, man.